Jason, we're going to this afternoon is uh, demonstrate to you the options on our flexi panel dog tents. We, we have the two inch mesh and the four inch mesh. Uh, in the next few minutes, I'm going to take you around uh, the tent which I've uh, just erected so that you can see what you can actually have. This is the two inch mesh, one metre long, half a metre high. And this normally would keep in your, your, your small uh, pets, your guinea pigs, your rabbits, your chickens, etc. Uh, small dogs, obviously, They're very small dogs. The second one is the 4x5 inch mesh. You'll notice I'm still in the uh, inches and uh, uh, old fashioned um, sizes, not the, not the metric. So 4x5 inch mesh, this is adequate for most dogs, little or large or small. They don't like to jump over the top of it because there's no bar. So they look at it and uh, big dogs are little dogs, they just give up hope and don't jump. Now what we come now, we come to a, a one metre panel but it actually doesn't fit perfectly so we can actually put a bend on it and you don't have to cut into the pan or damage the PVC coating so you just come around bend it and I'll show you after how to bend it and it looks quite smart we then go to the one meter high or 39 inches and this is a two inch panel double panel which you see that will stop anything and they don't like to jump it we can do it higher but it's normally one meter high will prevent most dog, dogs jumping so it looks quite smart you've got the fancy clips which is there's no rough edges on them all been designed to look good and actually work 100% now we go then now to the 50-50 which is the small mesh at the bottom which again will stop the small, the small animals your guinea pigs, your rabbits, your, I wouldn't say a ferret, but uh, chickens, etc. And you've got your 4x5 inch mesh on top. And what we do with this, we actually raise it about an inch from the ground so that there's no build up of leaves or moss or debris it, uh, when you sweep it up. It looks quite good. We then come to the double one, which is the most popular one we sell. Uh, 5 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch mesh, 1 metre high, easy to fix, you know, just have a screwdriver, and a, uh, I'll show you the drill later, which is going to be concrete. Then we have a more of a top end, where you've got a mesh at the bottom, and the uh, 3 by 1 inch rails. These are just screwed to the post, and you'll see that there's no give at all on these posts, because yeah, actually the panels and the posts are all stopping going from side to side. The, 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 the brackets are designed so that the maximum support well up the post, so you have little or no movement back or forward. And it's a really firm job. We come to the corner again. The panels are too long, so what we've done is put a bend in and gone round. So you can do any sort of configuration half round right angles, uh, you know, just to, to make it fit whatever uh, area you want. And when you finish, you can sit down and just think, what a good job I've made. And it looks good in anybody's garden. And it's yet another product of P. Wolf that performs. I'm going now to show you how to actually put a bend on the uh, panel. It's very simple, it doesn't take a lot of energy. Uh, and that, what I'm using is just the back rail of this garden bench. So decide on what distance you want to put the pole from the end, just put it on top and just bend it down. And you've got a nice bend. And you can put it you can, you can put it put a, a round on it but you just have to move it a little bit until you get it to the exact uh, bend or circular uh, section as you need. So it just fits round uh, way 
wherever. It looks, it looks good. Now to demonstrate the bending the two inch mesh. This is slightly harder so you want a little bit better surface to put it on. So I'm going to put it on top of the wall like this and decide on just how wide I want it and then I'll uh, bend it. Hold it at the back and it's quite simple to bend. If you want it a little bit more you can just put it around and bend it. There you have a perfect job. Looks good at the last few years.